trumpeting another landmark moment in the flow of British history. The Queen arrived at Cadogan Pier with the Duke of Edinburgh. The monarch accompanied to the royal launch by her son, the Prince of Wales, and the Duchess of Cornwall. As hundreds of boats began mustering up river, the Queen made her way to the elaborately decked Spirit of Chartwell, the Royal Barge. The Prince Elizabeth steam train blew her horn from the Chelsea River Bridge as she went. Already on board the barge, her grandsons and the Duchess of Cambridge waiting in the light drizzle. The vibrant gold and red of the velvet drapes and gilt-covered statues cutting through the June gloom. Once aboard, the man-powered vessels prepared to take up their position at the head of the flotilla. At 2.40, the wheels on the floating belfry began to spin. the bells marking the start of the pageant. On cue, the boats rode past the Queen at their head, many other members of the royal family on board the Gloriana. They received a wave of royal assent. In all, there are 265 man-powered vessels taking part in the pageant. Now, many of those on board are used to competing, going as fast as possible, but they've been told to slow it down today to a maximum of four knots as they make their way through the centre of the city. As they kept that pace, the spirit of Chartwell slipped its moorings and joined the procession. Cheers from the thousands watching on the riverbank. As the flotilla took shape, moving down the seven-mile route under 14 road, foot and rail bridges, its historical inspiration became clear. Organisers studied this painting by Canaletto, marking Lord Mayor's Day in 1746. The visual echo is staggering. Henry VIII and Charles II all used the Thames for their own celebrations. There was a musical reminder too, as one of ten floating music barges played Handel's water music, commissioned in 1717 by George I. Everywhere though, reflections of the Queen six decades on the throne. Countries and the Commonwealth also represented, while others went for less traditional boat decorations. The chilly day drew comment on board the Chartwell, as it passed the South Bank Cultural Centre, the home of the National Theatre, where there was a carefully coordinated salute. The puppet star of the warhorse rearing over the Thames, obviously enjoyed by the royal viewing party. Then the Queen passed an enormous reminder of another milestone, a black and white photograph from the Silver Jubilee in 1977. As the barge approached the finishing line, a trumpet salute. Then the bascules of Tower Bridge were raised as the rain fell. The spirit of Chartwell moored as the royal party moved to watch the rest of the flotilla pass. If the drizzle and pageantry wasn't British enough, the musicians added to the pomp and circumstance.
Robert Nisbet, Sky News.